Ode to Duty, W. Wordsworth, the speaker recognizes the importance of having an inner conscience or responsibility to duty. This does not mean giving up our natural inclinations, but they should be tempered with a well-considered vision that guides our wants. Ode to Duty Stern daughter of the voice of God, O duty, if that name thou love, who art a light to guide, a rod, to check the erring and reprove. Thou who art victory and law, when empty terrors overawe, from vain temptations dost set free, and calms the weary strife of frail humanity. There are who ask not if thine eye be on them, who in love and the truth, where no misgiving is, rely upon the genial sense of youth. Glad hearts without reproach or blot, who do thy work and know it not. Oh, if through confidence misplaced they fail, thy saving arms dread power around them cast. Serene will be our days, and bright and happy will our nature be, when love is an unerring light and joy its own security. And they a blissful course may hold, even now who not unwisely bold, live in the spirit of this creed, yet seek thy firm support according to their need. I, loving freedom and untried, no sport of every random gust, yet being to myself a guide, too blindly have reposed my trust. And oft, when in my heart was heard thy timely mandate, I deferred, the task in smoother walks to stray, but thee I now would serve more strictly if I may. Through no disturbance of my soul or strong compunction in me wrought, I supplicate for thy control, but in the quietness of thought. Me this unchartered freedom tires, I feel the weight of chance desires. My hopes no more must change their name, I long for a repose, that ever is the same. Stern lawgiver, yet thou dost wear the Godhead's most benignant grace, nor know we anything so fair as is the smile upon thy face. Flowers laugh before thee on their beds, and fragrance in thy footing treads. Thou dost preserve the stars from wrong, and the most ancient heavens through thee are fresh and strong. To humbler functions, awful power, I call thee, I myself commend unto thy guidance from this hour. O oh, let my weakness have an end. Give unto me, made lowly wise, the spirit of self-sacrifice, the confidence of reason give, and in the light of truth, thy bondman, let me live. <laughs>